Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good weekend. It all's going well. And I hope you've got plans to be in God's house this weekend and uh, worship the Lord. And if you will this morning, uh, take your Bible if you're uh, where you can and turn with me to the first chapter of Proverbs. We'll be looking at the fifth and sixth verse there. Proverbs 1, verses 5 and 6. And we're still in the uh, introduction phase uh, of, uh, of the book. And um, just uh, the uh, directions to listen, the purpose of the book, uh, author of the book, those kind of preliminary things uh, are what we find uh, in these verses. And the verses we're going to look at today, um, the next chapter really goes even in more detail about uh, the reason, uh, uh, the purpose of listening uh, and studying the book of Proverbs. But um, here he says, talks about the person who uh, studies the book uh, of Proverbs. And uh, he says uh, in verse 5, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand the proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. And uh, again, he just says a wise man is going to pay attention uh, to the instruction uh, that God has given us in the book uh, of Proverbs. I mentioned earlier uh, that uh, a good practice that many uh, recommend is reading uh, a chapter of Proverbs uh, each day. Um, and again, corresponding to the date. Um, so for example, today uh, you would read the 23rd chapter uh, of the book of Proverbs and to make that a regular habit, to learn uh, the wisdom of God, how to have a successful uh, and blessed life uh, is what we find in the pages uh, of uh, this book. And uh, he tells us in verse 5, again, that, uh, again, that, that a wise man uh, will, uh, will hear. Uh, and, and one of the things I think that uh, is important, notice the wording there. He doesn't say a, um, and I'm trying to think of the nice way to put it, um, someone who is not so wise. Uh, we'll word it that way. Someone who is not so wise will read the book of Proverbs, study the Proverbs, uh, and become wise. But he says a wise man uh, one who is already wise uh, will listen to the Proverbs. And so uh, it's not just a matter of someone wanting to become wise. Uh, he's saying that you're never so wise uh, that you can't learn more from the wisdom uh, of God. You never get to the point uh, where we can't gain uh, guidance and uh, leadership uh, from the Word of God. Uh, a man of understanding, he says. Uh, he will, uh, man will hear and increase learning. Um, and so a, a wise man uh, will continue uh, to learn, uh, continue to learn from uh, the Proverbs, from the lessons that God uh, gives us. He will continue uh, to mature and to grow. He'll attain wise counsels. He will uh, go to the places he needs to uh, to learn. Uh, and again, specifically the Word of God, that they'll continue uh, to study and to realize that, uh, that as they age, their, uh, their life changes, their needs changes, their circumstance changes, and so you're always going back uh, looking for uh, new wisdom to be able to, uh, to, to serve God, to live the life uh, that he would um, have us to live. Uh, and, and again, that we would study the book and that we would learn the book 
and we would seek again the word that he used in verse 5 their counsel um, that we would use the, the, the book of Proverbs as counsel to us, much as uh, we would use a trusted friend or advisor. We go to the book of Proverbs and, uh, and study it for uh, counsel, uh, understanding uh, the, the knowledge, he says, uh, to understand a proverb and the interpretation. We're uh, looking to, we're constantly digging into the Proverbs. I think the more, uh, and hopefully you'll see that as we uh, go through this, uh, through this book, but the more you look at the book of Proverbs, uh, the more you see. Um, I heard um, E.V. Hill years ago talking about, he, was, he said he was going to preach a diamond sermon. And he said, you know, when you take a diamond and you hold it up and you turn it and you look at it and you turn it and every way you turn it, the light hits it uh, a little bit differently. He says, that's all I want to do uh, to this text. I want to take and look at it in different ways. Uh, as we look at the book of Proverbs throughout our life uh, with a teachable spirit, and that's the key to it, uh, that we go to it seeking wisdom, believing that we can and should uh, learn uh, from the book of Proverbs that we're looking. Uh, it says we, we look for the words of the wise. We want to understand uh, more uh, of what, uh, what God uh, is teaching us and trying to understand. Uh, you know, some people approach Scripture and uh, they'll come to a, a certain place in Scripture and they just shrug their shoulders and say, well, I don't understand it. Um, or even worse, sometimes they'll say something like, well, I don't think we're supposed to understand it. Well, why in the world would God have gave it to us if he didn't mean for us to understand it? Uh, and so we approach the Psalms, a wise man uh, approaches the book of Proverbs, uh, approaches these great words of wisdom with a teachable heart, with a desire uh, to learn, a desire to understand, to grow, uh, to be counseled, uh, to, to accept the, the wisdom and the leadership uh, of, these, uh, of these great uh, teachings. Then I take those teachings and do I get them into my mind and I allow them to, uh, to percolate, for a lack of a better word, uh, do I meditate on those and uh, think about those things that, uh, that are taught uh, in the book of Proverbs? Do I dig deeper? Do I, do I take what I learned from Proverbs and look in other scripture uh, for even more uh, wisdom? And uh, as we go into this book, uh, I hope you'll remember, uh, in particular, uh, this, uh, this early session that we're having together this morning, that as we approach the book of Proverbs, we approach it with that kind of heart, uh, a heart that is open, a heart that desires uh, to learn and take in uh, the great principles uh, of the Word. And uh, so this morning as we uh, wrap this up, I, I want you to keep that in mind. And as we come back next week and as we work further into the, to the book of Proverbs, that we would approach it with hungry heart, desiring, because a wise man seeks even more wisdom. Have a great day, great weekend, and we'll see you back here Monday morning.